I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet weather report. The days with little or no rain have been adding up. We had to go back to Mesonet's 30-day rainfall map to get to a map with some significant rainfall across a major part of the state. The rain on our 30-day rainfall map ending December 10th fell mainly in a wide band from southwest and central Oklahoma to the eastern border. The green areas had one or more inches of rain, the yellow four inches or more. Our last rain event was a drizzle and fog event. The two exceptions were the spots colored green in the Panhandle and in the far southeast. Most locations had less than a half inch. Locations in the light blue areas in the southwest had less than a tenth of an inch. One saving grace has been the low winds. Wednesday afternoon at 4.50, only two mesonet sites were at or above 10 miles per hour. Apache came in at 10 miles per hour and Ringling was at 11 miles per hour. Lower wind speeds and cooler temperatures have reduced moisture loss from soils, conserving what little rain we've had and contributing to our recent foggy days. Let's hope we see another round of good rainfall with our next rain event. Here's Gary with an update on our drought status. Thanks, Al, and good morning, everybody. Well, hopefully at this time we're getting ready for a really good rain this weekend because we really need it. Now, speaking of that, let's take a look at the latest U.S. Drought Monitor map and see where we're at. Well, unfortunately, still a little too much red and orange out there in western Oklahoma, and we've had a little bit of spread of the extreme drought. Uh, that's the red portion uh, across northwest Oklahoma up into Harper and Woods County. A little bit more down in southwest Oklahoma, too. So those areas that have continued to miss out on the best rainfall over the last three to four months, we're still seeing that drought intensify. And, you know, when we look at southeast Oklahoma, they've had some decent rains, but parts of that area have also moved into moderate drought. So drought is once again intensifying across Oklahoma. We definitely need some rainfall. Now, as we can see from the Mesonet rainfall maps dating back to August 1st, that almost all areas of the state have been dry. Now, parts of West Oklahoma have seen five inches of rain or less. And even parts of southeast Oklahoma, where as much as 17 inches of rain has fallen, those areas are still running a deficit, uh, at least since August 1st of this year. So in, when you look at these statistics since August 1st, the departure from normal rainfall, we've had a statewide average rainfall total of about 9.8 inches, and that's about 3.5 inches below normal, again, since August 1st. Uh, and that ranks as the 25th driest August 1st through December 10th on record since at least 1921. So you can definitely see the need for more rainfall. So once again, we're faced with the need for more rain at the driest time of the year. So whatever we get this weekend will definitely be a, a gift. Uh, one of these days, we're going to look at that drought map, and it's going to be all white, and we're all going to be very pleased. But unfortunately, not this week, and probably not next week either. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.